Let's say you have a website just like this, but you want to move it to another web hosting provider. How do you exactly do that? Well, in this video, I will show you how to migrate a website from one web hosting provider to another completely free. The first step I highly recommend you to do before you migrate is to delete any caching plugin that you might be using. Some web hosts have native caching, so you might have compatibility issues later on. This include like WP Rocket, WP Super Cache, Lightspeed Cache, and so on. But with that out of the way, let's continue to the actual tutorial. I have this website hosted on another hosting provider with a domain, and now I want to transfer to this empty hostinger website. Log in to the WordPress panel on the website you want to move elsewhere. Go to Plugin and Add New. Search for All-in-One WP Migration, install, and activate it. In your WordPress dashboard, you will now see an additional button that is going to be called All-in-One WP Migration. Hover on it, then choose Export. You will need to click Export and choose the File option. This will take a while depending on the size of your website. Once this compression is done, just click the download button and save it somewhere to your computer. Now the first half of your migration process is now done. You have extracted all the necessary files from your web host since provided to your computer. It is now time to put all those files onto the new web hosting provider. Log into the web hosting provider that it will be migrating to and create a clean WordPress installation. Log into the newly installed WordPress account and install all in one WP Migrate plugin again. Once the plugin is installed, click Activate Hover over the plugin, but this time instead of clicking Export, you will want to click Import. Choose Import from File and navigate to the file you have exported earlier. However, as you can see, the upload limit is just 256 megabytes. Uh, but I will show you how to raise this limit for free. Go to the file manager, search for HTA access file and add this code at the bottom of the file. You can change this value depending on the size of the file you want to upload. After that, after importing your file, you will need to wait a bit for the upload to complete. One last step is clicking Save Permalink Structure. Don't worry, if you need to log into WordPress again since you have just migrated all of your old files to your new web hosting provider, now you need to use your old web WordPress login to reach your website. You might also need to confirm your email on your first login. Once you are inside WordPress again, just choose Postname and click Save Changes. Now, if you would visit our new website, everything is updated and working perfectly. Okay, but what if, what if you want to use a new domain name? You want to use the same old domain name that you already have. Well, what you need to do is go to your domain name provider and update the name server to point to your new web hosting provider. This process is generally different from every single web hosting provider, but in my example, how to do it on GoDaddy. It should be similar enough to on every single other web hosting provider as well. Basically, if you buy a domain name from a provider like Bluehost, SiteGround, GoDaddy, Hostinger, Nameship, basically anywhere that sells domain name, you will have to access what is called a DNS, the domain name system. Currently, my domain name is pointing to another domain name server, so I will have to use Hostinger domain name system in order to point to my new hosting provider. Press past and click on save. So this is guys, all the links used will be in the description box. Click the like button, subscribe notifications on and share this video with your friends. Peace out.